In photography, textures and overlays are a great way to incorporate a creative look into the image while maintaining the original environment of that photo. Inside of On One Effects, there's a dedicated textures filter that's chock full of textures and built-in overlays that fit perfectly alongside your favorite Adobe workflows. Let's say we're working in Photoshop, building a social media post. After we've created our scene, it would look great with a creative texture or overlay just to make the scene stand out a bit more. Applying textures in Photoshop is a bit of a hassle, as you have to add in each one as its own layer and then modify from there. And you can't actually swap between the textures, you would have to add in new ones as their own separate layers. Rather than dealing with multiple layers for your textures, use On One Effects and its powerful textures filter. Once you've built your scene in Photoshop, convert it to a smart object. This way, you can quickly go back and refine your look in On One Effects if you need to. With our smart object layer, let's send it over to On One Effects where we can quickly add on our textures filter. You can choose from an abundance of different textures and unique overlays that are actually built into On One Effects and they work on a variety of different images. It's also incredibly easy to import and use your own, as I've imported these shadow overlays, and I really think they'd look awesome on this particular photo, just to bring a bit of life into the scene. And as I scroll through these, I'm really digging this plant shadow overlay. It gives it sort of this coffee shop vibe, and I'm really, really liking it. In the textures filter, we can also easily adjust the look of the texture if we need to. I could quickly adjust how that texture is blended if I'm enjoying a more dark look on the scene, but I think this subtle look works best for this particular photo. Let's also increase the opacity here to 100 so that we can see the entirety of the texture on our scene. And I'm just going to adjust the brightness a little bit to make sure the scene is a little bit brighter to fit into our social media accounts. If you're looking to get really creative, you could also invert the texture, or you can modify the color. Since it's just a simple social media post, let's just leave it looking natural. I'm thinking it looks great so far, so let's head back into Photoshop. Since we're using a smart object, if we need to modify the scene in Photoshop and the texture isn't fitting quite right, we can always quickly go back into effects and start right where we left off. I'm thinking we just rotate the texture a bit just to adjust where the shadows are covering up on our scene. And it looks great. So the post is done. Let's head back into Photoshop. Now those are easier, faster, and better results.